but it's nice to go back to a group where I didn't necessarily feel included and to be included. Um, I feel like my eyes are super puffy. I am so tired. I'm reshooting the video that I took last night, which was a mess. I was very emotional. I went to the Ned's live podcast last night and it was so much fun. It was so much fun. So much fun that I cried the entire drive home because it was so emotional for me. And I came in here and I filmed such confessional about said night. Uh, I had to take my makeup off. I was crying so hard. And I don't think that that video is postable. So we're just gonna repeat what we said last night with less tears, hopefully. And I'll make this quick. I had such an amazing time last night. Because of how I parted ways with that show, there were there have been so many times where I didn't really feel like I was a part of that group. And last night, a lot of you made me feel like I was. And it's just been a nice full circle moment for me. And the amount of people, women especially, that came up to me and said how my ED or body image struggles really resonated with them. And for those of you who shared your personal stories with me about those, I'm forever grateful because it does make me feel like I'm not alone in the issues that I have and what I have gone through and what I still go through. And for anybody that's left a kind message, it really just means a lot to me. And I can't thank you guys enough. And I totally don't want to make this about me because last night was totally for Daniel, Devin, and Lindsay. But it was just really cool to see. And it was really cool to meet a lot of you. And some of you asked for pictures and watched me make a mess of myself like I normally do in public situations, which I've learned to just accept. I spilled a cocktail and a whole box of popcorn in the middle of the aisle before they loaded in everybody to sit down. That wasn't embarrassing at all. And just to see... Daniel and Devin and Lindsay and interacting with everybody and how much people really, really love that show and how much a lot of people's childhood was that show. And that statement was said a lot to me yesterday. And I really was able to change my memory of what was a semi hard time for me into papa's dude I'm trying to have a good moment here bubs so anyway i just wanted to make this very shortly to say if you've left me a nice dm or comment thank you I haven't gotten through all of the comments, but I'm really overwhelmed with the amount of nice things people have said to me in the last week and a half, two weeks. And some of you were so cool. And I think younger me really struggled to fit in like a lot. And I would always make social interactions awkward and I would feel uncomfortable or out of place. So then I would lean into that and I would make awkward situations even more awkward and I feel like I've lived about five different lifetimes since then and I have learned a lot about coming into my confidence and being in social situations and learning how to talk to people and not just be uncomfortable 
And yesterday I felt like I fit in and that was really nice. Um, <laughs> I will probably include a clip of me crying here <laughs> just to save you the time because I don't know and I haven't watched that footage yet, but I'm pretty sure anything I said yesterday or last night was... Incoherent? I'm not sure. Incoherent's the wrong term to use. Uh, I also need to say a big, big, big thank you to Devin, Daniel, and Lindsay for inviting me to come witness their greatness, for having me on their pod to begin with. I realized that by asking me to come on the podcast, they changed my life in ways I can't even begin to explain. And I was able to get a lot of closure on a lot of deep-seated, dumb issues that I've had about my experience as a child actor and change it for the better. And I'm forever grateful to them for that. So... I told myself I wasn't going to cry. <sighs> there were a lot of memories that weren't so great for me as a child actor. And I feel like I've... I thought I overcame them. And with the revival of this Watch podcast, a lot of those old feelings came up. And a lot of these triggers that I did not realize were there boiled up for me and caused me a lot of anxiety but they caused me to reevaluate how healed I really was and kind of delve into those issues head on and and work through them and I feel like I had spent the last nine months working through them before I was even asked to come on the pod and so for them to ask me on the pod it was I was able to get closure on a lot of things that I felt like I didn't and I guess the one thing that I learned was by doing the work before I went on that pod, by dealing with those issues, I was actually able to see them for what they were and talk them out and realize how these things affected me. And then I was able to talk about them in a clear way on the podcast. So I'm super grateful and appreciative to all three of them. They killed it yesterday. Lindsay looked fire. Devin led an amazing show. Daniel Style, by the way, can we just talk about for a minute? I I love style. I love clothes. And I'm pretty sure he said his girlfriend picked out his outfit yesterday. So maybe it's Daniel's girlfriend that has the good style. But that man knows how to dress. And I'm envious of his boldness with some of his clothing choices. Everyone always, everyone also just loves Daniel. But I did just want to make a quick video to say if we chatted yesterday, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Please don't stop reaching out and leaving comments and likes. I love interacting with all of you and it was just a great experience and I had a great time. I also think I had, I don't, in times of stress, I realize I need to not have any alcohol at all even if it's just one or two drinks because I wake up with alcohol panic attacks I did that last night and I don't know if it was the hours of crying I did when I got home because I was so emotional or or the couple of hefty Tito's oh somebody gave me a shot last night now it makes sense Somebody bought me a double shot and then two other people tried to buy me double shots and I was like no no I see how this goes. That's why, that's why I'm doubly tired today. Also, I hate crying. Crying is a necessary for everybody, but the, the reason why I hate crying and why I always try to stop myself from doing it is because like I get the puffiest eyes and I cried so much yesterday on the drive home that like, 
anyway thanks for thanks for tuning in stick around i don't fucking know i'm too fucking tired <laughs> but i love you guys it means the world to me everybody that came up to me yesterday that was so nice i feel like i'm repeating myself which means i need to just sign off so fucking sign it off <laughs>